Good evening, everybody. I hold here in my mortal hand GoldenEye 007. No, I don't actually hold GoldenEye, but I am actually playing GoldenEye on my Nintendo Switch. Freaking crazy. Yes, GoldenEye is now available on Nintendo Switch through the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack membership, which includes access to Nintendo a select number of Nintendo 64 games, one of them being GoldenEye. And in honor of this, I am going to be playing some GoldenEye tonight on my channel while drinking another very fine brewski with my boy James 007 Bob. Alright. I'm not going to be doing any multiplayer for this stream, even though that is the highlight of this game. I'm just going to be playing some good old-fashioned GoldenEye campaign. Select, select mission, select mission. Damn! Alright, let's go! Agent, nah, I ain't gonna do double O agent. No, I am going to do just normal, plain old, normal agent. Bungee jump from the platform. Alright, so, this game is, of course, based off of, uh, the movie GoldenEye, um, which is one of my favorite James Bond movies, and one of my favorite 90s action movies, and this game is still probably overall the best movie licensed game ever made, as in the best one actually based off of a movie, because they actually put a lot of detail and it wasn't just a quick cash grab. Um, alright, so we got our agent here, there is semi-auto aiming in this, alright, I got that guy, so now we have the KF-7 Soviet, which is essentially the same thing as an AK-47, but for some weird copyright things, um, I guess they couldn't call it that in this game, which is a little odd. I've actually held an AK and shot an AK-47. I used to go to my un uncle's farm down in Virginia and uh, he had a, he was a Vietnam War veteran and he owned a lot of, a lot of different uh, rifles and let me use some of them and because they had so much space we could like go out and play target practice with them and he had a legit AK-47 which I got to use. It was pretty cool. It definitely feels, it feels pretty visceral, the real thing. All right. These graphics definitely aren't much to write home about, to say the least, by today's standards. I mean, they were revolutionary for the time. They were super realistic. I mean, like, for the time, these were like Skyrim graphics. Today, even Skyrim itself is a fairly old game now, funnily enough. Although, Today, not so much. Oh well. Oh, feel me! Feel my anger! Alright, I'm gonna try to get the body armor. Usually, I've actually played this game a lot. I still have... I still have the original cartridge on my Nintendo 64. But I wanted to play it on the nice big screen. With all the blur that HD allows. Alright! We're gonna go up here. Up we go. The body armor. So unlike most modern first person shooters, which really started, I think, with Halo, like... This game doesn't have checkpoints. This game, you had to complete a certain number of missions, depending on your difficulty level, to complete the, lev the level. And you don't have checkpoints. You have a limited number of health. You have, like, a typical health bar. It doesn't have, like, a respawning health system. Uh, just, a, just a health bar, and so that is your health. And if you run out of health, you're dead. And the blue body armor you can get, every stage has it. It, it, it basically 
It essentially gives you like a temporary shield against taking damage, which is to say, but once all the blue bars run out, then you take damage again, which is to say it essentially doubles your health temporarily, to put it in layman's terms. All right, there's this big truck with just an innocent guy trying to make a living for his family. In the Soviet Union, yes. This level takes place in 1986, back when the Soviet Union still existed. To be clear, I'm not shedding any tears over the uh, collapse of the Soviet Union. I, I don't really like to get political on my channel, but that is all I'll say. I, I think a lot of very bad four-letter words when it comes to the Soviet Union and its ilk. That's all I'll say. So don't give me a cut and strike, YouTube. But this guy's gone. He gone. I hyped myself off of my trip to Britain. Play all the James Bond. Played by an Irishman, Pierce Brosnan. Funny. So the first time I played this game actually was when I was eight years old in the summer of 2001, right before I turned nine, and we took a road trip down to see some family friends down in Texas, and I didn't have a Nintendo at the time, but my friends had a Nintendo 64, and this is the first time I ever played GoldenEye. Weirdly enough, that was also the first summer where I... I actually watched just because my parents would begrudgingly let me because all my, both my brothers were also watching movies like that. A James Bond movie, and the first James Bond movie I ever saw was A View to a Kill starring Roger Moore. And so when I saw what James Bond looked like in this screen and the character select, I was like really confused because I thought James Bond looked more like a middle-aged blonde guy with slightly gray hair on his side, and so it's like, why does James Bond look so young? And it's like, oh, it's a different actor playing the character. That's before I had the conception of, like, actors versus actual people in a way. Like, like I knew who Luke Skywalker was, but I didn't know the name Mark Hamill at the time, for example. Of course, no one else has ever played Luke Skywalker. Alright. I got I got to be honest. This this is a little rough going back to. Although it, it is start I am starting to get my groove back. Die bad guys. I've just played so many modern games. But yeah, the fact that I'm actually playing this on my Nintendo Switch is pretty cool. I mean, it feels exactly the same as playing on any other system, but I mean, it's pretty cool that it's on Switch. I know it's on the Xbox Game Pass as well, but I don't have any of the new Xbox systems. I only have my Nintendo Switch and my PlayStation 4, and that's just fine for me, to be honest. I wanted to make sure I recorded this after I got some good meat in my belly, some good food. This isn't even required because I'm playing it on normal agent, but I'm just going to do it anyway, and then I'm going to jump off and proceed to the next level where the real good stuff happens. I feel like a madman here. But up, but up, but up, up. James Bond. these guys, I mean, they probably all have families and wives and children that they're, they have at home, they're just, this is just their day job, they're not, it's not even personal, they're just like, trying to make a quick buck, but, 
here comes this psychotic British agent that's just, you know, ruined for everybody. I mean, come on! Alright, that's enough tomfoolery. Let's go out of this here tunnel and back up to... I guess it does feel like it was sped up. I watched uh, the K-Wings Let Let's Plays uh, playthrough of this a little bit earlier today, and he mentioned it looks like the deaf animations were sped up, which it does. I do think the frame rate's a little better at here, actually, than it was on the original N64. So we'll give them that. Alright, let's go. Let's jump off the Mission Impossible style. Alright, we're 11 minutes into this video. Let's see how long. We'll go until, you know, I decide to be done or until my camera gives out. Whatever sooner. Hopefully not before my camera gives out. But I definitely want to at least get through the second stage. I have seen... Ooh, that... That is a classic scene. Ripped straight from the movie, which at the time, it was like the largest bungee jump ever. All right. Gain entry to the laboratory and meet Double O Bean. Sean Bean. Sean Bean was the best part of Goldeneye, the movie, in my opinion. Like, he was one of the best Bond villains. All right. So here's the class. I'm going to make sure I get this right for my recording. The classic guards sitting in the stall. And oh, look at those textures. Look at those wonderful textures. I feel like this game was meant to be played on a CRTV and not an HDTV, but whatever. Oh. I shot off his hat. He gone. All right. Open sesame! Whoa! Forgot about that. And some other dudes. Bozos that are gonna be coming in the door. Pretty dang soon. Alright. He gone. And he gone. Alright, I mean, I th I th I'm still enjoying this quite a bit. Just the, just the, nos yeah, call it nostalgia goggles all you want, and it's probably true, but I'm still having a lot of fun with this. Although, I, objectively speaking, Perfect Dark was, was the much better game. It was just a much more refined and much more expanded on the premise of GoldenEye. It never quite made the same splash sales-wise as GoldenEye did, unfortunately. Partially because it was very late into the N64's life cycle, and also because I don't think it had the same brand recognition as, as uh, GoldenEye due to being tied to uh, the movie. I guess, maybe? But Perfect Dark was also a really good game. I, I still have my N64 cartridge of that. Which I got used. Actually, it still came in the original back box packaging. It was one of the only N64 games that got to still come in that packaging, which is great. Yeah. Like, I don't care what comes along. N64 will always, like, be one of my favorite systems, purely for nostalgia's sake. A lot of its games objectively have not aged all that well, but... Like, screw it. I'm, I'm always gonna love it. <laughs> it's like, it's okay to, like, acknowledge that something's dated, but also still enjoy it. I mean, games should be fun anyway. Doors, doors, doors. Alright. Down the hall. In here? Key card? Whoa. 
press the the button. Security door activated. Gear around here. In here. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da. You go. Alright, time to take these guys out. He gone. Alright. I ain't trying to do nothing to you, dude. I'm just trying to have some funsies. Alright. Leave the doctor alone. Don't kill the doctor. Actually, I don't think that's a requirement for normal mode. Is it? No. Check the... Ooh. Minimize. Minimize! Okay, so if you accidentally get rid of one doctor, it's okay. If you get rid of three or more, I think that's when you fail the mission. Alright. <clears throat> Take a swig of potion. And no, I'm not drinking a vodka martini shaken up stirred. I'm just drinking a, a stout. Must die. I've been looking forward to this all day, and it is living up. This video, I mean. Ah! All right, we're about to meet a uh, Boromir. Few seconds. Bormir slash Nedard Stark slash Sharp it's rifles. Time to leave, Dr. Doak. Yes, David Doak. You'll need this Dakota to open the bottling room. Good luck, 007. Why, thank you, Dr. Doak. Named after one of the uh, game designers that worked on GoldenEye. Uh, worked at Rare. For whatever reason, now I'm wanting to go play Banjo Kazooie. That's a really annoying habit I have. It's like my mind is always distracted when I'm playing games a lot these days. It's like I always am thinking of a different game to the one I'm actually playing and should be focusing on. It's like I'm playing this and all of a sudden I think of Banjo Kazooie and I immediately want to go play Banjo Kazooie. Dang. Whatever. It is what it is. Oh, whales. Auto aiming actually, I think, works fine. It's just when you try to aim manually, is when you run into a lot of problems. It Manual aiming is not aged well at all in this game. Perfect Dark, again, I actually think actually improved it a lot. Oh, right, I have to press the thingy. The button. Alright, got that. Alright. Here we go. I'm watching my camera's objective A completed. Hell yeah. Some of this I've like had memorized purely based on muscle memory. I've played through some of these levels so many freaking times that I just have it down pat. Like, I miss when Rare made, like, good games. <laughs> huh. 
not saying all of the newer games are right. Not saying all of the newer games are objectively awful, but like they're nowhere near like just the caliber or just creativeness that the old stuff had. Anyway, with that said, I'm gonna pull out my mines. Here he is! Look, it's it's Sean Bean! Look at me! Ooh, look! Look, look at that face! Look at that face, man! That is the face of pixelation. It was too easy, Alec. Half of everything is luck, James. And the other half? Fight. I wonder how they like motion captured or whatever to get that Sh Sean Bean's face onto. Alright. It's the part where the evil general captures Sean Bean and quote unquote kills him. If you've A, seen the movie, or B, played and finished the game before, then you know what happens. And he's gonna love 10 seconds. Nine. Let's hope I don't screw this up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Alright, I'm outie! I'm outie! Victory! Victory sip! That caused me a lot of stress back in the day, and even just now it caused me a lot of stress. This is that little, like, split second moment where you have to, like, get it just right. This game doesn't really leave a whole lot of room for error in some of its mission objectives. I will say that much. It can be pretty damn rigid. Alright, I had to escape on the runway. On the planes is. Alright. Off we go. Down the hatch. Alright. A rat. Hey, hey! Here's Johnny! No. A rat. There's that classic Grant Kirkhope score. God, I love. Grant Kirkhope and David Wise. Oh, like. Probably my favorite video game music composers, though. David Wise, probably. I mean, Koji Kondo was great, he's a legend on all that, but... David Wise and, like, Grant Kirkrow, they really know how to create, like, just atmosphere through music. Even with limited hardware. Oh! Ah! I was an idiot for not pulling that out sooner. Take that, take that, you dumb commie. Yeah, I said it. Deal with it. Let's get on the frickin' plane! Oh, crap. Okay, I might have to start this one over. I'm almost dead. This did not, it's not going how I planned it out in my mind. Ah, I'm trying to strafe. Yeah, I'm, I'm screwed, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna have to start. It, it's aight though, I can just start over and out too much hassle. Get out my... Uh, Alright. Ooh. 
Oh, is that what I think it is? It is. It's a tank. Ooh, yeah. Let me find the tank. No? Okay. Can I go in here? Nope. That fault. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. Let's see if I can... Abort, abort, alright. I'm just gonna try again. Failed, yeah, yeah, I get it. Thanks for the vote of confidence there, my friend. Alrighty. Now I know what to do. After I can get the ignition key. I'm gonna try to save up some of the bullets so I can go in guns blazing when I'm ready. May have this way. Oh, this is where I should have gone. Ammunition. Alrighty. Hell yeah, alright. Cute. But it's all good, I'm just having fun. Get out my, my big gun. Literally. Well, bigger. There's actually much bigger guns in this game than the one I'm currently using. Alright, like if you know what to do, this is like the shortest, easiest mission ever. We did it! Hooray! Alright. Now, new cheat available. Nice. Alright. Cool. A time jump. We're going to Severnaya, a f little facility in the middle of Siberia in Russia. Ah, that was a good one, good ski. This is one of my favorite levels. I am honestly a sucker for snow themed levels for whatever reason. I just love the visual and like atmosphere of this level. Uh, I am sort of leaning forward while I'm playing ATM. Maybe I should sit back in my chair, but I don't really want to. I just want to have some fun. All right, he's gone and he's gone and I'm gonna go into the little shack. Grenade rounds. Locked. Aw, uh, dang. Gotta have a key to get in there. I know the ultimate goal is to get into the, the base repair facility, the main repair facility, and all that stuff. So, we'll do that. But first, we'll do something else. Here we go to the other cabin. It's actually kind of cool. These look kind of like the cabins I used to stay in when I was in Boy Scouts. Like, not in the cold weather, like the summertime, when I go to Boy Scout camp in the summertime, or late spring, you know, I'd stay in cabins like this. You know, it was pretty warm out, so like nights were pretty humid and stuff. Cool, good memories. Gone, and so is he. 
hand. Grenade rocket launcher. The large key. Yes, I did, Zeus. All right, I gotta get me that body armor, man. If I can find it. job designing like differentiating the colors like the from a distance the the bad guys are wearing much darker clothing from a distance than they are when you see them up close so it's good like color palette's important it's important to be able to differentiate that stuff when you're playing a game no Actually, uh, so they also did a, not so much a remake, but a reimagining of Gold, GoldenEye back in 2010 for the Wii, actually, which eventually I believe they also released for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox. Um, it was in many ways more reimagining of the film itself than of the game, and it had a uh, then current Bond actor Daniel Craig as in the starring role. They used his likeness for the reimagining of uh, GoldenEye, and I thought it was okay. I mean, it definitely felt like updated, like it definitely took cues from at the time more popular shooters such as. All right, more popular shoot. I have to force myself not to cringe when I say this, given my distaste for the franchise, but Call of Duty, yeah, it took cues from that. And I thought it was an okay game, but honestly, part of the charm of this game is that it's not Call of Duty or some of those more modern shooters. To me, at least. But I, I, I remember I... I had a pretty fun time with it on the Wii. I, I played, I don't remember that much about it. I remember there were aspects of it that I really liked. Like the more, having some of the more, you know, some of the quick time events, like at the time I didn't really like them. Certain quick time events I've grown to appreciate in newer games that have handled them a little better, but at the time I was not a fan of them. Very clearly, like a a bank on nostalgia, even at the time. Like, Bullet Eye was a very old game, even back in 2011 or 2010. I mean, jeez, I, I feel like I'm a completely different person now than I was back then. I was still in height. That was I was a senior in high school when the remake slash reimagining of GoldenEye came out, and now I've been out of college for more than five years. I graduated from college more than five years ago, I should say. That's all I'll say. I'm a very different personality than I was then. How am I a very different personality than I was five years ago? Age does that to you, man. And I'm, I'm not even, like, old. I'm, like, I'm not even 40 yet, but I, s I already feel like I'm, you know, longing for the good old days, as it were. Alright. Oh, you son of a... I used to be able to get that! Rocket launcher? No, I'll blow myself to smithereens if I use that. The Clob, I think this is the Clob, which is considered one of the worst weapons in the game, but whatevs. <laughs> ah! At least I didn't get... take any damage there. 
do a thing. this atmosphere of this level I just love this just sort of the endless like that's actually still legitimately impressive even to this day like you feel like you're like in the middle of freaking snowbound land in Siberia it's pretty damn cool all right there's the Alright, so this is the entrance to the facility. I think we can go in this way, or... Shit, no, sorry. Yeah, we have to sneak in there. We have to sneak in there. I'm a little tired, so... I might have a few more profanities than I try to in my videos, but... Bear with me, I... This is mate. this... By the way, my channel is officially for adults. Right? This is an adult channel. He gone. I gotta find the... the thing to... There's a secret passageway that I know of. Alright, I'm gonna sit back now. Oh, that feels so much better. My back. My lower back's been bothering me like crazy. Cause I think I'm like one of those people that's like like I try to work out fairly regularly and like when I'm at the gym I'm like, yeah, I know this is a bad idea for me to do deadlifts with this. Do I care? No, I'm gonna do it anyway. And like I didn't like injure myself, but like Back in, like, I think in the fall when I went to the gym and tried doing deadlifts, like, it kind of screwed up my lower back, and I am still feeling it to this day, which kind of sucks. Oh, well, Zeus, oh, well. Where the heck is that place? So I'll get rid of all the bad guys, well, most of the bad guys, so I can focus on finding the damn place. Okay. Okie dokie. What's around the corner here? It's the tr Look at those trees. Like, I know those are so obviously like they look like paper trees, but I don't care. They did such a great job of just the detail in this game. Try, with the technology they had, trying to make it as authentic as possible. And yeah, it looks dated as all hell by today's standards, but like, even looking at it, like, you can tell that the designers really did try to make this game very detailed and really tried to give it a sense of, like, immersion. No. Da. Which is yes in Russian. Da. I don't know what one is in Russian, but I know what yes is, and I know what no is. is. Da and no is yet. Oh, and I also know what see you later is in Russian or see you tomorrow is. Do zavtra! Do zavtra! Do zavtra! Any uh, Russian speakers here? Uh, feel free to criticize my horrible Russian. That's literally all the Russian I know anyway. I know how to speak a little bit of a Spanish, uh, un poco espanol, and I know uh, some Italian. Po Italiano. And I know a few words in French, like, uh, C'est la vie, je m'appelle Dana, yeah, au revoir, and uh, s'il vous plaît. Un café, s'il vous plaît. I think that was French. Might have been a French mixed with Italian or Spanish, I don't know what. 
Alright. Okay, this is a really awesome level too. Alright, I got a little bit of time left. Might play f one or two more stages if I have time. This is not a let's play, this is just me having some fun doing a game night and being myself. Or at least part of myself. Kill that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Canonically, he's supposed to die at the end. He gets frozen by the giant thingy when the uh, satellite gets destroyed. Why did I do that? Why the hell did I do that? lapse from like the opening scene before like the main plot of the movie versus where this is a time lapse but before like the main events of the film even start there's other events that fall in those two. So I think they really wanted to beef it up and expand the campaign, which I appreciate. It's definitely another one of those things really sitting apart from average licensed games. How it really they almost use the movie more as like a a, a, t a blueprint to follow up on, rather than like something to just cash in on. Like you can tell, like they really tried to really make a legitimately like good product. <sighs> yeah, you can like gripe about how the game has age that well all you want, but like, it was revolutionary, and it did, it was trailblazer for console FPS games, and we must not, you know, neglect that. I, I believe that in honoring the past, whether it comes to video games or film or literature, like, there's a lot of films that I've old films that I've seen that aren't necessarily some of my favorite movies, but I still have the utmost respect for them for being trailblazers and getting us to where we are now. One of the reasons why I test cancel culture so much is because it's essentially like, you know, because it doesn't line up 100% with our modern proclivities, it's therefore irrelevant. Not to be political. That's the last political thing I'll say. I think.
Hell yeah! I got another boost sporty armor. I'm Batman! No, I'm not Batman. I'm just James Bond. Not nearly as cool as Batman. Still pretty cool, but not as cool. Batman's still the coolest. Alright. Alright, now we got it. Take it slow. Alright, I'm gonna lure them out to me and hopefully I'll have enough to... Damn it! There he is! Body armor. Just cute. God, idiots! Where'd he go? Is he still alive? Please tell me he's not dead. Where's the, uh, where's the, the whippy dorky guy? You want it right? Okay, yeah, that's like, okay, that is one thing that is legitimately bad game design, how they make it so easy to... Like... that guy because this is normal mode. Alright. Unarmed? Hell no. I'm just gonna use this thing. Copy the golden eye key. If there's, I can remember where the friggin' knew that. Don't hit the thingy. Go through here. I can get. Freaking coming. Okay. It's gotta be close by. I think enemies are like infinite in this game. Yeah. 
Nope, that's not gonna be it. It's further down. Further down, further down! Nope, not there neither. Not there neither. Where else? Where else can we possibly search for this here cave? Up here? Nope. Alright, you know what? I am going to try this one more time in just a moment if I can't figure this out. Oh, picks up. Wee, okay, I got, I got that, I guess. So, copy the damn thing. Nope. All right. All right, all right, all right. Better idea of what to actually do now. Is it in here? The, d the thing. Nope, not you, not no. All right. Well, maybe I have to copy it over here. Maybe. like me from like 15 years ago would be slapping me right now be like it's so obvious or something I don't know you know what I'm gonna start this over I'm sorry guys I just I just really want to make sure I get it right this is just really bothering me I just really want to get this right this time. So I'm going to try this one last time. Just because I do want to try one more stage if I have time with my stream tonight. It's already pushing an hour. I didn't even intend to do this for an hour originally, but here I am. For whatever reason, hour long videos seem to get more views than shorter videos. I think I do have to...
break, you. You break! God! How many of you goddamn assholes are here? Take me to the... Alright, here, here we go. Alright, move it. This is the... Boris Grishin go. I'm invincible! Nope, nope. Oh, seriously, game? Seriously? This is the stupidest thing ever! Dude! What the hell? What the actual hell? Alright, take me to the damn place. Sick of this crap. Luckily, I still got 33 minutes of battery left in me camera. I'm um, dual wielding, man. Okay, I just need to take a picture now. Goodbye. All right, now.
Hey, so it has actually been an hour since I started this stream. I am going to see about calling this a night here in just a sec. i try one more thing, then I am going to put pull the plug on this here, this here video. Because this is already gone longer than I anticipated. I did get fairly far, I at least got to do like the most the most iconic levels from the game, so I'm happy about that. And, uh, yeah! Got to enjoy my ramblings while playing GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64 Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass. And with that, I will see everybody next time, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and... Take care. Bye.